Hi everyone, it's Irma here, and in this video I'll walk you through the Visual Composer element controls. Every single element in Visual Composer has its own controls, and you can access them once an element is added to the page by simply hovering over it. Depending on the element, there are three different content controls available. Row controls, that are in the color blue. Column controls show up in yellow, and element controls are in green. The controls also display the hierarchy of the layout. Like in this case, the row contains the column, and the column contains the text block element. Also, once you hover over the particular element control, you can see that it also displays a border around the element area, which is really helpful if you're creating a complex layout. Each control also opens a drop-down of quick options and they're quite similar to all controls. So the row options are edit, which will open the row edit window, where you can find the general row settings, row layout, and design options. Then clone, which will duplicate the row, copy and paste, and remove. Moving on to the column controls. As you can see, they share the same exact options. Edit, that opens the edit window where you can get to the column settings and design options. Then clone, copy paste and remove. And here are the element controls. So edit, where you'll see the element attributes and design options. And clone, copy, remove. The only difference from the other controls is that you can only copy the elements and paste the element in any column with the paste option in the column dropdown. Another thing you can do is drag the element you want simply by hovering over the control, like so. And that's all you need to know about the Visual Compulsor element controls. Thank you all for watching and enjoy!